Tonight, we discovered dozens of Florida businesses that made mass layoffs due to the coronavirus also received up to millions of dollars in federal funding. But still, it wasn't enough to save everyone. This is our main production floor. At the Tampa headquarters of Global Widget. Our gummies are the most popular product. Business is back to being fruitful. We've come through the entire COVID situation with better strategic focus. In April, the four-year-old company, which manufactures CBD-infused products, laid off nearly half its staff due to COVID-19. 68 employees. It was the first time we've ever done that. Two weeks later, it was approved for just over $3 million in federal paycheck protection money, or PPP. We wouldn't have laid them off, but it, as fast as that happens, you found out like on Thursday at five that you were approved and you got funded the next day. This hemp distributor, among at least two dozen Florida companies we found who reported making mass layoffs to the government over COVID-19, but managed to secure federal help due to the pandemic. You laid off a bunch of people and then you got a bunch of money. That's correct, and we hired back those people. The company's chief compliance officer tells us in addition to rehiring all 68 laid off employees, they've hired eight more. Without that PPP money? We would not have rehired all those folks for sure. We brought back most of them. The Jewish Community Center of Orlando received just under $700,000 in paycheck protection money in April. Not enough to bring back all 136 people it laid off in March. Because we don't have eight classrooms, I don't have jobs for those teachers. Revenue is still down, leaving the not-for-profit to lay off about a dozen more of its staff since. We've had to make adjustments um, to match the economic reality. Around the state, car dealers, hotels, and restaurants are among the businesses we found that reported mass layoffs despite securing PPP money. Some restaurants, including this one in Miami, remains closed with plans to reopen soon, according to its website. We're running the company just like any other company. Back at Global Widget. We're just as legitimate as any other dietary supplement company that's out in the marketplace now. While the FDA has yet to regulate the natural hemp industry, business here is booming. We employ 176 people in Florida. With plans to hit 200 by the end of a year that continues to produce so much color. Katie Legrone, WSFL-TV.